Okay, so we're going to cover how to unwrap in Maya. So I'm going to go into the UV editor, which is that button. I'm going to select all my faces. I'm just going to deselect the handle because I'm going to not need it at the moment. And I'm going to run a cylindrical map on this, because that is the basic shape of this. And don't worry about the bottom UVs. Those are going to be taken care of right now. I'm just going to grab those bottom faces and run a planar map on them. Because they're flat objects, I don't need to worry about them. I'm going to go to edge, ring, face, and then after running cylindrical map on these, if I turn on shaded UVs, it shows me which ones are flipped and which ones are not flipped. Red usually means bad. I'm going to cut this one corner and stitch it onto this other side. Holding shift and choosing move and sew UV. Flip these around. And now you'll see that they're correct, no longer overlapping. Edge loop, stitch and sew UV, or move and sew UV. Now I need to cut this line here because I want my seam to run down that handle part. So I'm going to edge loop and cut. <clears throat> and I'm just going to move and sew UV onto the correct edges. <clears throat> now for the handle, is my own little trick to fix something like this. I'm just going to planar in the x-axis. I'm going to squash this to where this little circle or quarter of a circle lines up nicely. So that's a little trick. And now I need to create the seam line running down the center of that handle as well. So edge loop, break, Then I'm just going to grab the UVs halfway of it, and I'm going to hit Unfold. I'm going to move these up. Holding Shift and Selecting will select the alternate of what's selected. And then I'm just going to start moving these around and choosing sections to hit Unfold. It's best to do in sections of Unfold instead of the entire thing, otherwise it'll kind of tweak out. So about something like that is fine with me. <clears throat> I'll just rotate it in place. So now it's nicely unwrapped. Now I'm just going to open up my hypershade. And I'm going to create a new checkered blend shader. So I'm going to make a blend, middle mouse drag blend, or middle mouse drag the checker over the blend, and choose default. And if you don't see your texture, just hit 6 on your keyboard, and it'll pop up. If you graph the network, you'll see the 2D texture placement, and you can change how many times it's filing but I'm fine with the number that it was set to originally. Right okay, now I need to square out my UVs, and right now those uh, those little checkers kind of look like rectangles. I want them to look more boxy. So I'm just going to squash those UVs on there. And if I want to show my checker pattern, I just go to display show image. Then I'm just going to scale them out. Make sure that the checkers all match about the same size. Handle looks a little weird, so I'm just going to scale that around a bit. <clears throat> about right there works pretty damn good. 
I'm just gonna grab all these and start to scale them down to fit into my T page space. Since this is the biggest object, I want it to have the most room on the T page. So something like that. And given that the top and bottom parts of this might not be seen so much, this is a few times that I'll allow this to happen, but I'll scale this down just so that they fit in. Usually it's a no-no, but depending on what object piece it is, you might get away with it. There you go. <clears throat> Set to unwrap. A little mug in Maya. Next, we're going to cover how to unwrap this book. So I'm going to open my UV editor again. And this time, I'm going to do an auto UV, automatic mapping, which is the equivalent to flatten mapping in Max. I'm going to grab all the faces. And automatic mapping gives me a lot of crazy stuff but I know what I'm looking at I need to just scale this up a little bit and move these away holding control clicking to shell then moving and I'm just gonna do move and sew UV click on two edges hold shift right click move and sew UV and I'm just hitting G to repeat function. I know that I'm going to split these off so that they stitch to the other parts of the handle. So I'm just going to cut those. Move and sew UV. And that's all this really, really is, and just cutting it off and then move and sew UVs. And just choosing the appropriate areas to split the faces off. Just cutting them with the scissors and then stitching them in other areas. And now for all the pages, I'm just going to planar them in the x-axis and the y. Now that I got the x, I just need to planar them straight down in the y. And I'm going to rotate them to match the same of the x-axis. Then I'll grab all them, squash them to be about roughly the same size of what the model should look like. And then move them over. I'm going to scale them up so that when I add my checker pattern, I'll see what's happening. Open up the hypershade. Create another blend shader. Middle mouse drag checker over top and choose default. Hold down middle mouse or right click on the sphere and hit assign material to selection. Six on your keyboard. And I see that they're kind of rectangular, so I'm just going to squash them a little bit more to be more square. <clears throat> About right there is fine with me. 
and now just scale them all down to fit roughly the same size of box. And scale them all down to fit inside of my T page space. Rotate this around. Get as much close to the edges as I can. Don't be afraid to enlarge your UV window. And just do some last minute stitching. Shift, move and sew UV, then just hitting G repeatedly. And there we go. Nicely unwrapped.